Green Beanie, the gnarliest cooking vlog around. This is week seven, lucky seven. And if you haven't, if you haven't seen any of my previous vlogs, then you should check them out if you like food. But first, this week. So I'm making seafood stew. You can use pretty much any kind of seafood you want. Um, shrimps, scallops, fish pieces, sperm whale blubber, giant squid eyeballs. But for here, I'm using this thing called a seafood mix, which is pretty much shrimp, scallops, and these weird calamari ring thingies. So start by cutting up the tomatoes, but if you are super lame and lazy like me, you can get them in a can. So you want, if you cut them up because you're awesome, unlike me, you should have about this much. Now you should turn your stove on, and while you're waiting for it to heat up, cut up your onion, like a boss. Now you have to put in your onions and garlic. So yeah, um, keep it in there until it's cooked which should take a few minutes. A few minutes later! <laughs> now add the tomatoes that you may or may not have cut up like a boss. And also, get some herb thingies like this. Sort of that, like, you have like basil and coriander. And also add some like rice or wine vinegar, or something like that. Just a little. Now waste five minutes by staring at a wall. No wait, that's a door. Now you take out a can of broth of some sort and good old H2O. Now add them. Add them like they were something that needed a lot of adding. So yeah, then um, the stove should be on medium or just below medium. And then... Um, you have to waste another five minutes while this boils. Let's play Fruit Ninja, but in real life. Watch What? That's a zucchini! Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> now you need your whole tin of beans and your seafood of some sort. Just like the broth in the water, add it like it was something that needed a lot of adding. So the stove should be on like just below medium. And yeah, now mix it a little and then you put the lid on and then you wait 10 minutes. So wasting 10 minutes should be pretty darn easy because you've got a thing called YouTube. Apparently if you're watching this video you have that. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a really easy to wa way to waste 10 minutes, because all you have to do is you watch a few 20 second videos and BAM, it's been like an hour. <laughs> oh wow, 10 minutes already. You see, I told you it was like a freaking time warp. Anyway, um, you need to make sure you don't overcook it, because um, if you overcook the shrimp or scallops, it's not that good. So yeah, open it up. Pretty gnarly. And maybe if you want to finish it off or something, then um, you might want to turn the stove up a little. Just make sure none of the shrimp are grey. You might remember that from the last episode. So yeah, if you want, you can add some more water or broth or salt and pepper and stuff if you want. And then you serve it. Serve it like, like a manager of a company. Yep, guys, lucky number seven. This serves four. Every, or if you feel like you can just eat the whole thing yourself, because if you were planning to go to McDonald's, it would save you a few hundred calories anyway. But yes, good for the winter. Not like winter needs to be made any more awesome than it already is. Anyway, next week I'm cooking up a whole fish. So, um, yep, a whole one. So stick around. Apparently a lot of people think it's super hard, and... Because I can cook a whole fish, I'm master chef. But really, it's like getting air on your snowboard for the first time. It's a lot easier than it seems. So, yep, stick around for next time. Stay gnarly, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>